king or a president should be pro-God. A leader who loves God? Someone who is not ashamed of God? Someone who is bold to proclaim the name of the Lord Jesus in public? Someone who does not curse God, insult God, or someone who does not blaspheme the crucifixion and the death of the Lord Jesus Christ? If ever, ever you hear of such kind of precedent of doing such terrible act, your president is welcoming curses into your country and into your homes. You have embraced all the Buddhist gods that they have rejected. You have embraced, you know, when you opened your nation and allowed the Muslim immigrants to come, what have you done? You have welcomed terrorists into your country. And that's what Mr. Trump is trying to do. Kick them all out back. But look at what the government is trying to do. See, look at what your Supreme Court is trying to do. They are trying to prevent him from doing godly acts. You know, there is a diabolical satanic group that has been set up and they are fasting and praying against your president. Last year, when I was in Lancaster, the word of the Lord came unto me and said, ask the American people to set up a 24-7 presidential prayer watch to focus prayer only for the president because he needs the prayers of the saints to surround him and protect him from the arrows that will come against him from all ungodly sources. Every one of you have now heard this. It is your moral responsibility to pray for your president. Like what I told you on the first day, Mr. Donald Trump was voted into office against all odds because heaven willed it. And why heaven willed it? Because you are given a last chance. He is five minutes old. They support, voted, and believed that it was okay to kill him six minutes ago. Think about that. Think about that. When when they were killing babies and sacrificing them to Baal. So they're talking about... Remember, the argument has always been, oh, it's, it's, it's a fetus, it's not a baby. They're talking about full term they just get worse and worse and worse with it why because we live in a rebellious generation a generation that, that the bible talks about oh that, you know we don't want to follow no rule so it's my body i want to do whatever i want to do and so these people yeah just let people love who they want to love let people do what they want to do let no rules oh you want to burn stuff down okay we're not going to say nothing against it because we understand why you feel that way Oh, pedophiles, we understand why you feel that way. There's science behind it. They were born this way. This is why they were they are attracted to children. I'm telling you something. You better wake up. Why do you need a leader that is pro-Israel? Or why do we need to support Israel? Simply because God commanded us. He does not request us to support Israel. He commanded us to support and love Israel. We as Christians must comfort and help Israel according to Isaiah 40 verse 11. Bless Israel. That is how God commanded us to bless Israel, not curse. If you curse Israel, you will be cursed. If you bless Israel and the Jewish people, you will be blessed. According to Genesis 12 verse 3. And to pray for Israel. Psalm 122 verse 6 and reach out israel to the lord jesus yeshua hamashiach their jewish messiah messiah and our messiah too so as christians we are immensely indebted to the jewish people for from them came all that we hold dear christianity is jewish and we are and we owe them honor respect and support so please Stop those wrong and very demonic notion that we should stand against the Jewish people. We should stand against Israel because they killed Christ. Those false accusations originated this very demonic movement making the Jewish people backing up and separate from Christians and not believing in their own Jewish Messiah. We have 
a responsibility to do as Christians. We have to pray for Israel, for the Jewish people to come to the saving knowledge and grace of the Jewish Messiah, the Lord Jesus. We have to lead them to the Lord Jesus. We have to pray for them. We have to, to love and support them. So in these last days, no one would love and support the, Easter, the Jewish people just as much as we, the genuine Christians, do. So if you are genuine Christians, you must love, you must love and support Israel. No to anti-Semitism. Never. How many of you then remember the mess the previous administration did during his time? America went to the lowest point, while China rose to fame as the new superpower. To be honest, I personally met a number of Americans in one of my trips. Sadly, they said they were losing jobs, companies shut down, millions of people laid off, and the hiring of nurses and doctors abroad had to stop despite the increased need in America. That was a few years ago, before Trump. So, it is very clear that you need a president who is pro-jobs, who is capable of increasing the employment. Watch out for this. A leader must be pro-jobs, capable of increasing the economic power of your country. No Christian who is led by the Spirit will vote or put their support behind Joe Biden because he's, in a, he's a puppet and there's an agenda. And obviously when President Obama was president, there were a lot of things that were unleashed, all right? Anybody who is a real Christian who knows the word of God, you know the things that happen. And right now that would be just a second wave if Biden got into office, all right? So there's so much hypocrisy and agendas. That's why the only perfect solution is Jesus, right? That's, the, that's what the world needs. But we can't be ignorant of Satan's devices. We can't be ignorant to what Joe Biden and these people are going to push and what they're going to do. We can't just be ignorant to that because Christians in America have been so comfortable for so long. We've got complacent. That's why God has allowed the coronavirus and all these things to come to just shake things up. You better be praying. You got Bill Gates and all these people talking about chips and vac vaccinations and you can't shop here and you can't do this. You know, if you don't have this and you don't have that, wake up to the times we're living in and pay attention. And the last but not least, Trump is God's appointed and last grace for America and the American people. America was used to be a Christian nation until such time the previous president says it's no longer a Christian nation. Honestly, my first time to visit USA, I was overwhelmed with so much awe. I saw left and right on the streets. In every corner, there's a Christian church. But look now, many churches are not walking in God's righteousness and in God's holiness. Choose a president according to God's perfect and divine purpose. As much as I could remember, there are multiple prophecies concerning Trump. God wants Trump to be the president of the USA. And God appoint, appoints Trump to show mercy on, his, uh, on USA. That is why he appoints Trump to be the president. On contrary, there's nothing or there's no a single prophecy about Biden. USA, American people, be guided. Be guided. Americans, if you say yes, any of the points I stressed above, your score result is Trump. But if you say no to any of the points, any of the four points that I stressed above, your score is Biden. So I bring you to Proverbs 29 verse 2. When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But when a wicked man rules, the people groan. Do you want to rejoice, American people? I recommend that you vote the right person on November 3, 2020. A last chance for this nation to turn back to righteousness. And Mr. Trump is like a godly man standing between God's judgment and the nation. 
He's like the man standing in the gap. He's like the prophet Moses holding the hands of God. Because you didn't do it. So God in his great mercy raised up a man like Cyrus and made him stand in the gap. Now all this is the God, is God's graceful acts of kindness for you. His graceful acts of kindness because he sought for a man who will stand in the gap but he found none. There were none. So he raised up a man, one man, to come and stand in the gap. And you need to put your house in order. Now this is serious. The American believers must take this seriously. You should not take this lightly and just leave this place forgetting about the whole thing. Fulham Wonders family all over the world thank you so much for continuously watching our videos sharing all of them thank you so much from the bottom of my heart I love you all and God bless you all